Hello and welcome to Model Dads. Today, courtesy of CAD over at Foreground, we're going to be taking a look at some of their 15mm Europe at War Northwest European pre painted laser cut buildings. Foreground's buildings come flat packed with that wonderful burnt wood smell free of charge. We received the Stone Hotel, Shop 2, and Damaged Semi 3, retailing at £17, £13, and £14, respectively. That's about 28 US dollars, 21 US dollars, or 23 US dollars, respectively. Packs consist of a set of double sided colour instructions and thoughtfully included road signs, advertisements, and posters in 15 and 28mm scale, including French and German names for your hotels, as well as the coloured parts required by your buildings. It's worth noting that you can buy additional stories if you want to provide some further living space for your little lead people. In terms of relative difficulty, the hotel and shop are rated 4 on Foreground's difficulty scale, with the ruined shop coming in at 5. To be honest, I found the hotel the most difficult to build on account of the roof, but a lot will depend upon how practical you really are. Instructions are clear and relatively easy to follow, with additional text included on the hotel particularly helpful, especially for the first time builder. Parts fit together exceptionally well, with each floor firmly secured in place with integral pegs. Across all three kits provided, the only problem I found was with one of the shop windows where, if you wanted to have the option of modelling the blue frontage, two of the parts had been cut the same way, which left only one with an external blue face. This could be remedied with a little paint, but I opted to stay safe, play safe with a vanilla wooden finish. Being cack-handed, the build time was about two hours per house, dependent upon PVA drying time, patience and skill, with plenty of breaks for tea and quiet sobbing. Despite all this, I still managed to get some of my wall sections the wrong way around, but this can be remedied with a little white paint. The finished buildings are very pleasing to the eye and contain a wealth of detail. Window frames, doors and brickwork are all wonderfully represented. There are a few minor blemishes to some of the external surfaces, but nothing that really detracts from the finished kit. Clever design means that where joints are visible, these are, in the round, incorporated within the pattern of decorative brickwork, or can be explained away as recently replaced tiles. Of course, if these really annoy you, they can be painted over, but it's not really necessary. Each floor neatly accommodates a typical medium-sized Flames of War base, and there's plenty of options to pimp your buildings if you so desire, as the boys over at Watwood Pattern have done. Now, being a bit of old school, I invested most of my money in resin buildings, and I was a little sceptical about how well these would mix with Foreground's laser cut kits, but personally I have to admit to being pleasantly surprised. Foreground's buildings can be characterised as being very precise. Surfaces can look a little flat, colour monochrome, with everything appearing well, you know, really clean. This is particularly true of the ruined buildings. Of course, the same criticism can be levelled at some pre-painted resin buildings, and much will depend upon the look of your other existing buildings. To explore the potential of foreground kits, I spent a few minutes adding pigments to the roof and wall of the burnt house, and was pleased with the effect that can be achieved in a relatively short period of time. It won't be long before these start to shape up to resemble my existing collection. I have to confess that at the start of this review I was sceptical that resin and wood would mix well. However, with a little work, I'm now convinced that Foreground's laser cut buildings will be able to fit in nicely with my existing terrain. This, coupled with impressively thoughtful design, an excellent build and acute attention to detail, makes these kits very appealing. Whilst you may be paying a little more than the resin competition, Foreground's buildings are the touch of class to your tabletop real estate. Highly recommended.